Good afternoon. I Vishwarupa Rath welcome you all to the digital media platform of Uday India. Here are today's main highlights. Prime Minister Narendra Modi dedicated the Homi Baba Cancer Hospital and Research Center built on an approximately 50 acres area at Mulanpur in SAS Nagar district of Punjab to the nation. He was accompanied by Punjab governor Banwari Lal Purohit, Chief Minister Bhagwant Mann and Union Minister Jitendra Singh and Anandpur Sahib MP Manish Tiwari. Prime Minister also met the patients in the hospital after inaugurating the cancer hospital. The 300 bedded state of the art Homi Baba Cancer Hospital and Research Center built at a cost of approximately 684 crore rupees would be would bolster the cost effective cancer treatment in the state and it would also provide cancer treatment facility to the people of northern India. The flow test to pro prove the majority of Nitish Kumar's government at the time of writing this news had begun in the Bihar assembly earlier in the day Bihar speaker Vijay Kumar Sinha Wednesday resigned from his post bowing to the majority he said that the chair was Panch Parmeshwar the ruling alliance of the JDU and RJD is likely to win the flow test as it has a comfortable majority of 164 MLAs in the 243 member house The BJP has 77 legislatures in the house. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Amrita Hospital in Faridabad district of Haryana today. Haryana Governor Bandaru Dattatreya, Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar and other dignitaries were present on the occasion. Managed by Mata Amrita Nanda Mai Mat, the super speciality hospital will be equipped with 2600 beds. The hospital which is being constructed at an estimated cost of around rupees 6000 crores will provide state of the art healthcare facilities to the people of Faridabad and entire NCR region. The hospital founded by Mata Amrita Nandamai is the largest and state of the art hospital in the region. Haryana chief minister said that with the opening of this hospital not only health facilities will be available to the people of the state will increase but people from neighboring states will also be benefited taking objection to chief minister nitish kumar's visiting a temple in gaya that bars entry of non hindus with state minister mohammad israel mansuri the bjp in bihar has demanded an apology from nitish for hurting sentiments of people from hindu religion rajya sabha mp and former bihar deputy cm Sushil Kumar Modi asked why Nitish has not taken action against the minister. Leaders of the Grand Alliance condemned the BJP's comment as an attempt to raise and quote irrelevant and quote concerns. For the unworthy Nitish visited the Vishnu Bhat temple alongside Information and Technology Minister Mansuri and RJD lawmaker from Kanthi. While he was in Gaya recently to inspect preparations for the impending Pitri Paksha Mela which honors ancestors Ashok Gehlot the chief minister of Rajasthan has emerged the front runner for the position of congress president according to the sources sonia gandhi asked him to take over before she leaves for a medical examination and treatment overseas according to the sources sonia gandhi told ashok gehlot at this at a meeting Although Gehlot camp has not officially announced the news insiders have revealed that congress is considering candidates other uh, the gandhis for the top position as the grand old party is still looking for a consensus candidate for the top position the central election authority of congress is awaiting approval from the party's working committee to publish the schedule for electing the next congress president upset over bail granted to telangana bjp mla raja singh who was arrested for making derogatory remarks against prophet muhammad hundreds of protesters carried out march and demonstrations across hyderabad several protesters were seen taking to streets across the city to protest against the telangana bjp mla's comment in shalibanda clash broke out between protesters and police when hundreds of muslims gathered at shalibanda to stage protest against mla raja singh stone pelting incident was reported from the area 
Police resorted to lati charge to disperse the mob. Few people, including a reporter, were said to be injured. Police had to deploy additional forces and use water cannons to control the situation. Sar Tan Se Juda slogans were raised by the protesters in Hyderabad's old city. An effigy of MLA, Raja Singh, was also burnt in the area. The Central Bureau of Investigation has raided RJD leaders, including Party Supremo, Lalu Prasad Yadav's aide, Sunil Singh, in connection with the land for job scam in Bihar that allegedly took place during the tenure of Lalu Prasad. The Central Agency is conducting raids in multiple locations. The CBI has also raided RJD leaders Subodh Roy, Ashfaq Karim, and Fayaz Ahmed. Two Rajya Sabha MPs are also being searched by the agency. A mall in Gurugram, allegedly owned by Tejasvi Yadav and his associates, is also being raided. Tejasvi Yadav's mall, Urban Cubes 71, was allegedly bought using the proceeds of crime. The Enforcement Directorate had registered a case under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act in connection with alleged irregularities in Delhi excise policy in which Deputy CM Manish Sodia and others are allegedly involved. Agency sources said, The move could spell more trouble for Sisodia after recent CBI action against him. They said, CM Arvind Kejriwal claimed his, depu claimed his deputy might be arrested in two to three days. Party spokesperson Sanjay Singh tweeted, Manish Ji is ready to go to jail, but not ready to bow down. Union Minister Anurag Thakur called up a party of liars, alleging the KGWAL model of governance had failed. The centre has issued an advisory to states on hand, foot and mouth disease, commonly known as tomato flu. According to the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, tomato flu was first identified in the Kolam district of Kerala on May 6 and as of July 26. More than 82 ch children younger than 5 years with the infection have been reported by the local government hospital. The other affected areas of Kerala are Anchal, Aryan Kavu and ne Neduvuthar. This endemic viral illness triggered an alert in the neighbouring states of Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. Additionally, 26 children aged between 1 to 9 years have been reported as having the disease in Orisha by the Regional Medical Research Centre in Bhuvaneshwar. To date, apart from Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Haryana and Orisha, no other regions in India have reported the disease in their state and union territory by the virus. In Jammu and Kashmir, the 270-kilometer-long Jammu Srinagar National Highway, the only all-weather surface link that connects Kashmir Valley with the rest of the country, has been closed today for vehicular traffic amidst multiple landslides and shooting stones at Mehad and Cafeteria Mode in Ramban, Ramban district. Due to overnight trains, multiple landslides and shooting stones have been triggered at many places on the National Highway between Ramban, and Banihal, including Cafeteria Mode, and Sita Rampasi between Marug and Kela Mode, resulting into the closure of the National Highway since early morning today. The vehicular traffic has been already stopped as a precautionary measure at Udhampur and Kazigand on National Highway. However, the work of clearing the National Highway has not been started yet due to intermittent shooting stones at Mehat and Cafeteria Mode from the hillocks as continue shooting stones are hampering the National Highway Restoration work. In Kerala, Met Department has issued an orange alert in the districts of Eduki, Thrissur, Mallapuram and Kasargod, indicating the possibility of isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall. A yellow alert has been issued for all the districts in the state except Thiruvanthapuram and Kolam. IMD said, Squally weather with wind speed reaching 40 to 50 km per hour, gusting to 60 km per hour is likely to prevail over Kerala coast and Lakshadi. Fishermen have been advised not to venture into the sea. In Uttarakhand, the work of Rishikesh Karnaprayag rail line project is going on a war footing. The work of rail tunnel being built between Narkota and Khankra has been completed today. More than 400 engineers and experts are employed to build the tunnel. The length of the tunnel is about 1 km 900 meters. 
The Rishikesh Kandaprayak rail line also includes Prime Minister Narendra Modi's ambitious Chardham railway project majorly aims to connect the four dhams including Kedarnath, Badrinath, Gangotri and Yamunotri. The government of Chilean President Gabriel Boric said it has re revived efforts to pass a bill that would reduce working hours in the country and fulfill a campaign promise. The bill, which aims to reduce the working week hours from 45 to 40 hours within five years, has stalled in Congress since it has introduced in 2017 by then lawmaker and current governor, government spokesperson Camila Vallejo. Boric has given urgency to the bill a provision in Child's constitution that forces lawmakers to consider a bill when mandated by the president. Lawmakers will debate a series of changes to the bill made by Boric's government, including a revision extending the reduction in working hours to workers in special categories, such as public transport drivers and domestic workers. According to the authority in Afghanistan, flash flooding has swept away thousands of homes, killed at least 95 people, injured 100 more, and killed at least 95 of people. Authorities reported that the fatalities occurred over a 10-day period in 10 different regions as the nation struggles with the economic and humanitarian crisis that has been made worse by Western sanction put in place when Taliban retook power last year. In addition, Pakistan's neighbor is currently experiencing unremitting flooding. According to the Disaster Management Authority there, since mid-June, flooding have claimed the lives of 820 people damaged or destroyed roughly 3,20,000 homes and com compromised 129 bridges. A Delhi-based farmer, Papan Singh Gehlot, who had bought flight tickets for his Bihar-based laborers to send them home during the COVID-19 pandemic, illegally committed suicide by hanging himself at his home in Tigipur village of outer North Delhi. The police said that they got a call about the incident at around 5 p.m. Gellert has left behind a suicide note in which he has cited an illness as the reason behind taking the extreme step and also wrote that he himself is responsible for the act. His body was sent to a nearby government hospital for post-mortem. Gellert came into the news after he sent his laborers to Bihar by flight so that they could meet their families during the COVID-19 pandemic. Many called him Sonu Sud of Delhi. Delhi Transport Minister Kailash, Kailash Gehlot said the government plans to have 200 women bus drivers with the Delhi Transport Corporation as part of its efforts to provide employment opportunities to them. He also handed over appointment letters to the first batch of 11 women bus drivers who have completed their training and will be deployed with the DTC. NASA released an audio file on YouTube claiming it to be the sound records from a black hole. Using a new sonification technology, NASA was able to convert pressure waves and ripples into audio that humans can comprehend. According to NADA, since 2003, the black hole at the center of the Persis galaxy cluster has been associated with the sound. This is because astronomers discovered that pressure waves sent out by the black hole caused ripples in the cluster's hot gas that could be transplanted into a node, one that humans cannot hear, some 57 octaves below middle C. NASA said, now a new sonification brings more nodes to this black hole sound machine. This new sonification, that is, the translation of astronomical data into sound, is being released for NASA's black hole week this year. Olympic champion and World Championship silver medalist Javelin Thrower, Neera Chopra has recovered from his groin injury and will participate in Diamond League meeting in Lausanne, Switzerland on August 26. This will be Chopra's first event since the World Championship silver medal and after missing the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham due to the injury. The Lausanne meet of the Diamond League will decide the top six finalists for the big fin final to held to be held in Zurich on September 7 and 8. Chopra is currently at the fourth spot of Diamond League standings after his second place finish at Stockholm event and a good show in the upcoming event can ensure him a berth in the finals. 
This was it for today. Stay tuned for latest news updates.